Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner, and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today, we have the great pleasure of meeting with John Asher. He is the founder and CEO of Asher Strategies and the Longevity Institute, and he's also working on a new book called The Future of Sales. Welcome, John. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. So you a uh, a seasoned um, sales executive, a seasoned sales leader, a leading consultant, uh, and uh, you're also focused on longevity. Um, you have so many amazing interests. You're like the modern Renaissance man. Thank you. Well, I actually, if you look back at the Simon Sinek training, Every company uh, can explain what they do and how they do it, but very few companies explain why they do what they do. We actually got a consultant to help us figure out, each one of us, why we do what we do. And then, of course, the why for our company. And so it is making the complex simple is my own personal why and also the why for the, for the sales training company. How do you simplify sales in the future? If you look at the, um, the past, there have been, you probably know a better number than I do, but thousands of sales books written, yeah. probably, and many, many articles. And new things emerge, of course, all the time as the world changes. And so any new technique, any new skill, any new neuroscience study that comes out, we're going to look at it, make it simple, integrate it into our sales training. There's a lot more technology coming into the sales world like uh, salesforce.com has like 4,000 different applications that you can deploy uh, all designed to make sales easier. And, and yet we still cannot do without salespeople. Well, one thing that's changing is the buyer's behavior has changed during this pandemic. The buyers are essentially spending about 20% of the time face to face about 40% of the time on VC or Zoom calls, and about 40% buying it without a salesperson on apps and self-service portals. And when you ask the buyers, do you want to go back to normal? 90% say no. How do you prepare sales organizations to meet those demands of the future of the buyer who doesn't want to see a salesperson? In my opinion, it means we're going to have less salespeople. Right, marketing is becoming ascendant and sales descendant. It's not like we're going to get rid of all the salespeople, but we're going to have a smaller group and they have to be better. They have to sell at the CEO level now, right? They have to be a good writer so they can draft a great in mail or an email or a proposal. They have to be good at video marketing as a branding and marketing tool for them for themselves. Can you share a success story where Asha Strategies? has helped an organization future-proof itself? Well, an example would be uh, one of our clients is Goldman, Goldman Sachs. And the Goldman private equity group um, like to buy companies. And when they're about to buy a company, they have six checklists they go through. And the checklist for sales and marketing competence, they outsource to us. And so then we go look at the company. And essentially, for the 15 sales and marketing processes, come back and just a simple stoplight chart, tell Goldman, yellow, you know, red, yellow, green for each one of the 15. And if they're mainly red, then Goldman's going to pass. If they're all green, then that's a big up check. If they're yellow, Goldman will ask us, um, so if we buy this company, can you all fix it fairly, <laughs> fairly quickly? And what they really want is 30% per year growth. And that's pretty much what we deliver. Can you briefly share your interest in uh, longevity and what should uh, salespeople uh, do in order to extend their life? Salespeople need to be sharp mentally. They also need to be sharp physically because the physical, if it's out of shape, can drag the mental down. And they also have to be good psychologically, emotional intelligence. And so it's really a triad that all salespeople need. And so we've developed the nine steps to an unlimited life. It's actually nine steps to an unlimited lifespan and health span. And so when people get on that program, they become so much sharper mentally and so much better uh, physically. I'll just give you one pillar of longevity. 50 years ago, we Americans got about eight hours of sleep a night. Now, on average, now we get six. 
And that has a catastrophic impact on so many things, including our immune system. Fasting is, has been studied in so many different organisms and animals. In every case, they live longer. And of course, five years ago, nobody heard the term microbiome. microbiome. Now everybody knows it. And if you don't have a healthy gut microbiome, you are subject to 13 diseases and three conditions, for example. So those are just a couple of the ideas that people should be looking at right away. John, where can people uh, learn more about you and ASHA strategies and, and your new uh, passion for health? Yeah, you know, they can just go to the uh, LinkedIn profile. It's probably the best way to, to do it, frankly. Right. right. John, thank you very much for being such a supporter of Selling Power and also such a rich contributor uh, to the profession of selling. You are very welcome, sir. Great to be with you.